Okay, so Apocalypse is about the lifting of the veil. And many of its messages are given to us. In fact, most of its messages are given to us through cartoons, which are very symbolic. They are code language. When the Virgin Mother appears to us in these apocalyptic times, she does the same thing. So sometimes she talks to us in a very um, straightforward manner. But I am I have a hunch that she also talks to us in symbols. This idea that we're not to look out our windows because we might see goblins impersonating our relatives and that we will die of fright or that we ought to close up our windows um, when the three days of darkness is about to hit and um, by the way, which would cause suffocation in a time of nuclear war. Um, I think nuclear war would nook us either way. But um, so, you know, close up our windows, you know, just because the demons from outside will be able to come in if all the portals aren't closed up. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible but probably not. The Virgin Mary is talking about something um, spiritual and symbolic. And I think probably what it points backward to, if we wanted to simplify this, would be the sword that passes through her soul because the secret thoughts of many will be laid bare. And so she's basically saying the same thing that Simeon has st stated to her. Um, that in the end time, when the veil is lifted, the secret thoughts of many will be laid bare, and that we had better prepare ourselves, keeping uh, the blessed candles of our souls lit with the gospel of Christ um, to prevent the contagion of sin. Um, that basically um, people who we thought we knew are going to be people that we didn't really know. And so it's really important at this time with the blessed candles of our souls to keep them in our prayers because the devil has come down to us like a roaring lion. So that's all that is. Um, if it's more than that, our Blessed Mother stated that she will be gathering up her elect sometime prior to this um, revelation, which will come to pass, so as to rescue us from these terrible prodigies, whatever they are. There's going to be, as we have um, revealed um, from the Catechism, St. John Paul II's uh, reading, um, there, will, there will come great prodigies, whether they are of a spiritual nature or otherwise, um, as we know from the Catechism. Interpretation of the Third Secret of Fatima.